Hey, how's it going? And today I'm going to show you how to import and display customized font in your game. This is really important so that you're not using just the default font that comes with Unreal Engine. And of course, typeface means a lot and it really adds that level of pizzazz. So this is just kind of a sample of kind of what you can do. This is just real basic. So I'm going to start this from the very, very beginning. So I'm going to go to new project and we're just going to go blank and no starter content and we're just going to go ahead and wind it back up again. The first question you might have, and I know I had this, is like, where do I get font from? Where do I even get the font from? And there's this one website that I'm particularly fond of called thefont.com, and you can come here and look around, and you can download them. Of course, be sure to check them that they don't have... Uh, viruses you can load them to an external hard drive and scan the drive make sure they're clean this one look how many downloads it's been downloaded over 5 million times so everybody likes this american captain right font and it's it's a nice looking font so that's the one we're going to play around with when you download the file it's going to come as a zip file so extract it and you should find in there a text file that explains its use so all of these are generally free for personal use which means you can use them for your own projects if you're going to use it in a commercially in your game then you need to contact the font maker and find out what you need to do to to get licensed to use it you want to be on the up and up and you want to reward them for their work that they've done so there'll be those instructions for example there's this other font I downloaded just the other day I don't know if it's on here it came with just simply with this if you want the full version and license for commercial use you can purchase here and then just go there extract the file you're gonna have two different kinds and the TTF would be recommended for a video game so OTF would be better suited for print so that's it so once you've got that file extracted and you've got your TTF file ready to go and you've got your font that you want come in here to Unreal Engine and we'll just simply go to import and you go to where you downloaded it and here's that Captain American one and we want the TTF and it'll be recognized and then you go open. It's going to ask you this question. Have you ever been a member of the Communist Party? Oh, wait, that's something else. Would you like to create a new font asset? And the answer to that is yes, you would. So it's automatically going to do that for you. And then you might want to hit Control S to save that. And so that's fantastic. Now, this will be available to you now, along with all your other fonts that you have in your game. So the next time you load up Unreal, this will be available as an asset to you. For personal use only, that is, until you get it licensed. And then after we're done, then we're going to try to get it displayed here on our viewport. So to do that, we're just going to right click. We're going to go to User Interface, Widget Blueprint, User Widget. We'll just leave it named at the default. We'll come in here. We'll just dock this up here. Now, really, this is the meat and potatoes of this whole thing, and this is how this whole thing started, because started exploring the functionality of the rich text block, which is opposed to the poor text blocks. That's, that's a bad joke. So we want a canvas panel, so we drag that onto the scene. And now if we go to the rich text block, if you hover over it and you have your tooltips on, it'll tell you it says fancy text, no children. So this is a single bachelor, I guess. So we're going to go ahead. And if we just tried to drag this on without the canvas, we wouldn't be able to place it. So we have to place it within. But we can't put anything on top of this. Okay. And now here we're, we're almost there. We're about halfway done, believe it or not. It's not quite as simple as you would think. So over here, we'll notice that this is blank. And we can just write here, welcome, welcome to... Unreal Engine. And if I compile and save, you'll you notice know, see these things come up. So I'll go ahead and fit to size and maybe reposition this a little bit. But obviously these are placeholders, but it's there's no font there yet. So we got to put in under appearance textile. We come here to where it says none. We click up here and we go to, we have to create what's called a data table. So I click that, can give it a name. I'm just going to call it new data table. And it's going to want a row structure. And our row structure is going to be the rich text style row and go OK. And it's going to create that for us. You notice this isn't blank anymore. There's this here. And you double click this and it'll take us into our data table. So we can save it. And all we have to do is we have to click add here and it's going to add this row. Now, this is extremely important. This new row, the first row you create, has you double click it, it has to be called default. 
If you call it anything else, it will not work. So you have to name it default. Everything will be copacetic. So now if we come down here to the textile and we open up font, we should be able to pick that Captain America or American <laughs> Captain font there. And then we can size it. And I know from experience that 24 is too small. So let's just make it 113. And then we can change the color from this horrific color. I don't know why that color even exists, but let's just make it black, okay? Once we set those things, we're all pretty much set. And we just go, okay. Now let's do something else while we're here. We don't want to make uh, be jumping around all over the place. Let's say we want to, now so this encodes this style is kind of locked in now on this row. So that's that and it, it can't be changed unless I came back here and changed these settings. But let's say I wanted to use this exact same in font but I wanted it to be red instead. I would click add and then I can call this one anything I want to call it. So then I'm just going to call it red and go save and I'll show you what, where this comes in in a minute. So this one so this one will be called up automatically by default and this one I have to actually code in to call it almost in the style of like HTML coding. You'll see what I mean in just a minute here. So we'll go save and now I can jump into my display here and you'll notice that we don't see anything and that's because we have to compile it now. So if I compile it you'll see our font comes in. And now that I can see it in the size it's gonna be, I can reposition this better, right? And then I can compile and save because I made that change. And now if we come into our game, we can't see anything. We've gotta tell Unreal to display it. So we've gotta jump up here into the level blueprint real quick, come up here to event begin play, and just go create widget. And we'll set to our new widget blueprint. And we'll drag off of here. And we just have to say add to viewport like that and we'll just drag in our target and we'll compile and save and we well, I guess we got to save everything it just takes a minute to do that and then if I jump over into our game and I hit play there's our new fantastic font that looks great so I'll just go ahead and stop now let's say I wanted to make I'll go back here into the display let's say I wanted to make this red now. So all I have to do to do that is come over here in the text under content and I got to hit the greater than and lesser than keys and so I'll hit this is why I say it's like coding in HTML. I hit that lesser is that the greater than or lesser than sign and then I'll type in the red which is the name of my second row and I'll close it up and then I'll go to the other side here I'll hit that lesser than sign again. I'll hit the forward slash, the, like the break, and close it up. I'll save that. I'll compile and save. And did I do something wrong? So let me jump back here. Uh, something's wrong because I don't see it here. So let me jump in here. And for some reason, the font didn't, uh, select so I'm going to select the font here I thought we had set it already but I'm going to type 113 and we'll go ahead and save that now I'll jump back in here save and then we but oh, that's not the color I wanted though so let me go back here and make it red and go okay All right, save come back in there save it there we go. Okay, so now if I come in here and I hit play, there we've got our font. And maybe I look at that and I say, hey, that looks pretty good, but I want the Unreal to be bigger. Well, I can just stop it, come back into the data table here, and I can just increase the size of it here. And save it. Pile save it. Oh, and see, yeah, uh, look, so it's big there. I guess I do need to check it. And now compile and save it. Come in here hit play and there's our setup there so anyway i hope you found this helpful this is just something i think is real important if you really want your game or whatever your project is to stand out so anyway take care have a great day and i'll talk to you next time